Hey guys, Rosie here, aka Mama Panda Bear. Today I'm going to bring you an unboxing of some Hobby Lobby miniature items that I purchased. But before we do that, I'd like to just mention to you that I've been a terrible hostess. Last time that you've watched my videos, I failed to put out any kind of welcome for you. This time I've put out some goodies. If you look around the set, you'll see some, uh, there's some tea, there's some water, there's some bubble drinks and some cupcakes and pastries. There's even a hamburger, some uh, cookies, and if you're into healthy snacks, there's a can of almonds. So welcome to our channel, Panda Dolls and Toys. And I hope you always feel welcome when you come and watch our videos. So stay tuned for the unboxing. So I've been saving things that I've purchased from Hobby Lobby so that I can do this uh, haul for you. So it's, it's actually in this Walmart box, uh, but that was just for storage. So I'm going to just put everything up here on the counter and then we'll talk about everything unload everything carefully so we don't damage anything because these things are just too cute and tiny I love collecting miniatures. Um, some of them are not in one six scale, but they can still be used uh, with dolls and doll houses. Okay. Okay, here's one item. This is a Mayberry Street miniature. Um, it was $2.99, and this is a set of uh, glass je jelly bottles, and it comes with a little shelf. It's actually 112 scale, uh, but I thought it was so cute to add to my little kitchen diorama, which I'll do a video on soon. And even though it's small, but I think it's the right size uh, that it will work. And... Um, yeah, they're just so cute. They have little labels and little fabric tops, so I just thought they were adorable. Um, the number on this, in case you're looking for it, you can shop Hobby Lobby online. This number is 1890292. And... Um, on the back it says 2017 Mayberry Street Miniatures, made in Taiwan. Okay, so that's one item. This item here is a set of uh, garden tools. Uh, it has a shovel, a rake, and I think the other one is called a hoe, but I'm not sure. Um, but in any case, it's three pieces. Again, it's in 112 scale. Um, it's made out of wood and metal, and it was $4.49 in terms of price. And the number on this one is 759142. I hope you can see it. I'll move it horizontally in case that's better. And if you if you see when I'm place it closer to the uh, doll, it's just the right size. So even though it's 112 scale, it's perfect for a Barbie doll. Okay, so I thought that would be cute for like a gardening diorama. This one is a little wooden white microwave oven. And I actually opened it because I wanted, I was so excited about this one. I wanted to see if the door opened, and it sure does. And that made me so happy. It has a little 
a paper printout here with little, you know, faux buttons and the timer. Um, it has little uh, wood knobs for legs. Yeah, but I thought this was so cute. And I think it's the right scale because if I place it on something, I think it looks authentic. I think it, it would uh, be a good size. So I was so happy about that. Now that was $6.99. Again, it's Mayberry Street Miniatures. And the number is 605204. Again, it's 112 scale. But again, I think it would make a lovely 16 scale item for a Barbie doll. And maybe what I should do, let me open, let me grab my scissors, hold on. Let me open the garden tools. Let's actually check them out. Here is the shovel. Very nice. Here is the rake. And I think you maybe is it a spade? I'm not sure. Uh, but if you guys know what this is, could you uh, leave me a comment and tell me what it's called? And let's open uh, the little uh, jelly jars. I've been dying to open these. I love miniatures. I hope you guys love miniatures too. I love looking for small items that are good for my dolls. This is adorable. They're not removable from the shelf, however, uh, but that's fine with me. That way I won't knock them down. I think they're adorable. You could always paint this uh, shelf if you'd like to. I may paint it white to go with some of the decor that I have. Okay, here's an item uh, that you may already have. This is a set of three toilet paper rolls. They may be small, but I thought like keeping them maybe in a cabinet or in the background that they would work out. Again, 112 scale, Mayberry Street Miniatures. This was $1.99, and the item number is 1890284. Let's open it up. And they are just so cute. What makes me happy is that the uh, paper used for these rolls is actually like a plastic type paper and that way they'll last longer. They're not just paper paper. Uh, yeah, so there's a yellow, a blue, and a pink. So cute. And the way they're, the way they're wrapped, I think you can stack them. Let's see. Yes, they're stackable. Can you see that? Okay, there you go. So cute. Okay, let's open another one. This one is a paper towel holder. Again, in 112 scale, but I think I can use it. It was $2.99. And, um, oh, and by the way, at Hobby Lobby, I found these in the section where they keep the doll houses, in case you've never been to Hobby Lobby before. Yeah, head to the section where they, um, where they have their doll houses, and that's where you'll find these miniatures hanging. This number is 106989. But again, you can find these online as well. Uh, 
Oh, and this one is cute because the little roll of faux paper towel actually rolls. So that is awesome. I like this. Oh, so cute. Yeah, and I'm sure you can paint this to your liking as well because it's made out of wood. Really cute. Did I give you a good glimpse of that? I hope so. I forget to look at the viewfinder sometimes. Sometimes I think I'm just doing this for myself. Okay, now this item is a letter mailbox. It was $1.99, again from Mayberry Street Miniatures, and the item number is 1890268. And I'm so happy I'm opening this up. You cannot remove the little mail items. They're glued in, but that's fine with me. I guess if you really wanted to, you could remove them and put something in that you make yourself. It says letter stamped on the wood right there. There's a little hole at the top for you to hang it. It's made out of wood. It's a brown wood, but I'm sure you could paint it if you wanted to. And it's just so sweet. I think it's so sweet. So cute. Okay, let's see what else do we have. Oh, yes. This one is a uh, newspaper set. It's tied in in some type of rope. It was a dollar ninety nine. Again, one twelve scale. It says one one piece, but there may be several sheets. We'll see when we open it. The number is one eight nine zero one six nine. And let's see if it's one piece that looks like several or if there are actually several sheets of paper. There are several sheets, yay! <laughs> that makes it look so sweet and so cool. Oh my goodness, that is so cute. That is so cute because if you wanted to open it up and if you needed to you know, remove some or take one out and use it for the doll's hands, and then tie it back up and put the, the stack on a table somewhere, you could do that. You know, that is awesome. I love that. In fact, I'm going to put that near the television. I hope you can see that. Let me zoom in. Can you see it? Hopefully it will focus. Cool. <laughs> my doll can read the newspaper okay let's zoom back out so we can see the rest of these items okay here's another Mayberry Street miniature this is a nine piece tool set it's in 112 scale let's see maybe if I hold it this way it was $3.99 which I thought was great for nine pieces. And the number is 745430. Let's open it up. My doll's going to have fun with this stuff. Okay, let's just take this out. Okay, so you have, first of all, a wood organizer toolbox with some slots inside of it. Really cool. And then you have tools. You have a pliers that actually opens and close, closes. I can't really do it with one hand, but trust me, it opens and closes. Can you see that? Really cool. And then you have a wrench. You have a 
screwdriver and they're all red tipped which is pretty a scissors or maybe it's a garden scissors I don't know it's it's more of a heavy duty scissors you have a a uh, I don't know what this is called but it's like a double barrel type hammer and this looks like a plumber's wrench I don't again I, I don't know what the accurate names are for these things and this looks like a handsaw really cool I like that it's a complete set of tools and here is a standard hammer the one we're used to where you hammer on one side and then pull up the nail on the other side cool this one is not red tipped this one is black at the end doesn't matter to me they're still cool and I actually have a set of tools that I had purchased from somewhere else I think it was Aliexpress and um, I was looking for a little toolbox to place them in for the longest time so now I could add these tools to my set from Hobby Lobby let's see what I have in here I don't even remember it might be repetitious but they now have a home this looks like a wrench it's black tip I'll put it in there another standard hammer another scissors it's black tip Uh, this looks like a pliers black tip another one of those double sided ball tipped hammers so it looks like it's the same type of tool set only black tipped this is the handsaw and another screwdriver black tipped and here is another plumber's wrench black tipped oh so my little tool kit is full so since I have two of each if there's a dolly who needs to borrow a tool my doll can say yes because she has doubles <laughs> cool <laughs> all right let's see what else I have here oh these items are not from Hobby Lobby I just added them to this box so that I could show them to you. I actually purchased these clearance from Walmart and these were clearance I guess from their Christmas stash and I thought they were so cute. They must have been ornaments from their mini collection for mini trees and I thought they would make awesome little uh um what do you call it uh you know artwork uh for a diorama or dollhouse um right now they have this one has images of christmas trees but you can easily create your own picture and glue it on top of that and you can paint this wood a different color or you could just leave it as is i think it's beautiful uh, this one is a Christmas tree. Uh, this one is a stocking. This one says Mary. This one says Ho Ho Ho. This one is, um, you know, like a line image of a reindeer's face. This one is a line image of a Christmas tree. And uh, let's see what size they are let's see let me get my ruler let's see this measures about one and a half inches by by almost two and I'm approximating because I'm not good with you know the minute 
fractions on, on this ruler. Uh, same thing here. Yeah, about one and three quarters by one and three quarters. That one's a square. Uh, this one is one and one and three quarters by almost two inches, a rectangle. But you you see, they're 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 small little framed artwork that can be either transformed or used as is, and I thought they were just adorable. Um, so check out uh, your Walmart clearance. You never know what you can find. Um, this is from Hobby Lobby. This is probably my most expensive purchase there. It was $7.99, and it's actually uh, a window miniature. Can you, let's see. I, okay, there you go. It's a window miniature with 15 little squared off window panes framed so it's a rectangle. Um, it's number 125349 and I thought this was really cute that if I wanted to create a window in my diorama that I could create a window. A window scene so I thought that was the cutest thing um, I'm not gonna open it because I'm not I'm not ready to use it so I won't open it but it can be painted any color you can add a piece of um, you know maybe a thin piece of plastic to uh, create like faux glass so I thought this was just really cool so I'm gonna try that soon I'll, I'll probably do that in another video. Okay, now this is a um, like artist painting tool uh, miniature. It's 112 scale. Oh, and by the way, this window miniature is also 112 scale, but I think it would work in my diorama as a window. Tell me if you agree in the comments below. Okay, back to this little artist box. It has a little wood box with a little artist uh, painting uh, palette, some little, some little paints and brushes. So I thought this was really cute. Um, it's number 1890185. And again, it's 112 scale. But let's open it up and put it in my doll's hand and see if we could get away with using it. And I know my doll right now is not a Barbie. Uh, you know, she's Rosie, friend of Barbie. Uh, but I still consider her to be a Barbie doll. Uh, I think they only named her friend of Barbie because she she's a curvy girl, you know. But uh, she's she's actually thinking of uh, undertaking the the popular, um, uh, you know, uh, what you might call it, the gastric bypass surgery that all the celebrities are doing. So she's considering that. So don't be surprised if one day you watch one of my videos and she's transformed, you know, with a new body, you know. Uh, she might have a made-to-move body soon. So this is so cute because, again, it's a little box. So let's put this little palette in her hand. Oh, I think it's just the right size. Look at that. Let me make sure you can see that. Let me move the camera. Can you see that? I think that's just the right size. Look at that. Let's zoom in and take a look at that. Oh, look at how cute that is. I hope the camera is focused properly. I hope you see that. Isn't that adorable? So yes, this miniature is a success. I'm so happy. Yeah, and so now my dolly can paint. 
to stay relaxed and chill. Sorry for the bumping when I move the camera and zoom in. Again, I'm not a photographer, but I'm trying my best. Yeah, so she has paints, she has paint brushes, and I love that this little box closes. I think what I'm gonna do is, because uh, I have some little uh, latches, I'm gonna add a little latch to it so that it doesn't fall and so that everything doesn't drop out. And I'm gonna paint the top and maybe do a little artwork on top of it and write the words art box. I think that'll be really cool. That's really cool. And to go along with that, I saw this other miniature. Can you see that? It's like a little desk and I know it looks rather small, but bear with me, I'll tell you what my idea is. This is an artist's workbench, and yes, it's in 112 scale, and it's rather small, but let me open it up. Well, first, let me give you the specifics. It was $3.99. The number is 1890177, and what I was thinking of, I kept staring at it, and I was debating, should I buy the little art box? Should I buy this bench? And I kept feeling like I wanted them both. And when I get that feeling, I just go with my feeling. And, and then I said to myself, the legs of this little bench is just made of wooden dowels. So I said to myself, I could easily take off these legs and I could easily replace it with dowels that are longer so that I could make the workbench can you see that? So that I could bring the workbench up higher to reach her height when she's sitting down so that she could so so it'll actually look like she's painting at this workbench. So that's going to be one of my projects. And I think this would be so cool to have my doll sitting at the workbench painting because I'm a crafter. So this, to have a doll named Rosie actually sitting crafting would make me really, really happy. So that's gonna be one of my projects. And I think it's gonna be really easy to do because as I said, I just have to remove the legs and replace them and uh, I think that's gonna be really easy to do. I don't have to disturb any of the top um, items that are glued down. This little piece of fabric here can easily be uh, you know, pulled away and re-glued. And even if I had to recreate that, I just have to take a little piece of muslin and dab it with paint and glue it on. So I think I could do that myself if I had to. So yes, I think that's gonna end up being the cutest little project ever. So stay tuned for that. I think that's gonna be really cute. And my doll will be making more paintings like the ones that were created for this diorama. Okay, and let's see, what else do I have from Hobby Lobby? Oh, we we found some little um, little hardware. Um, I don't know. These are eye hooks, I think they're called, and they they were really tiny. So I just scooped these up. They were in the clearance section for ninety seven cents. But these are made by a company called Doris, which is a popular supplier of craft supplies. Right here it says jewelry designer, but I think eye hooks are used in so many uh, capacities. Um, I bought them because they're they're even good for hanging things up. They're, they're, you, you can find so many purposes for them. And the number on this Doris product is called or I'm sorry, is number 1921-05. And on this package in the back, they're actually called 
screw eyes screw eyes silver one other thing I purchased uh, it wasn't from Hobby Lobby but I thought I'd in include it in this video uh, three items from the dollar store well as you know the dollar store has gone up in price from a dollar to a dollar twenty five but I thought this was still a good buy I purchased three of these crates they're approximately three inches by five inches I believe let's check um, uh, three and a quarter inches wide by five inches long and I think they would work out well for one six scale. Um, you, they can be painted. You can do so many things with them. Yes, either to display my mini brands or to display books or who knows what. But I thought that would make a nice bookshelf. Um, so that'll be another project coming up soon. But again, that these are from the dollar store, uh, you know, a dollar twenty-five each. So overall, I spent uh, three seventy-five uh, for these three items. That's it for my Hobby Lobby haul today. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, if you like this video, please uh, give it a like. Please share and subscribe. And uh, take a look at my other videos. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.